Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Walkie, and I'm back with some more Marvel Snap as I continue to play the game. As the game gets closer to release, I'm here with a deck that is very much a very silly, very dumb deck. It's the Agatha deck. Um, so Agatha has a very fun, fun thing here. Uh, if you're wondering how come I have such high collection level, which is around 2000 something, and the answer is, it's all thanks to Agatha over here. So an Agatha card, Agatha always starts in your hand and plays a card for you. So that what means what it means is that you don't play the game at all. Agatha plays the game for you, which means it's a CPU. Is the CPU good at the game? It is not. It is actively bad. But at the end of the battle, Agatha collects all the XP no matter what. So it makes it very easy to level up specifically just Agatha. <laughs> so the deck itself is pretty straightforward, so let me try and explain it. I basically don't play any one-cost cards. Agatha has no idea how to play one-cost card. I want to try and play at least one card a game with a high curve near the end where my big units are just so big it's hard for the opponent to uh, ignore what it does. In theory, I want her to play Electro, and Electro will give me one plus one max energy, which means no matter what, Agatha will play herself on turn five, which will allow me to do anything I want on turn six. If Agatha is smart, she'll play Sandman, which will completely screw over the opponent, because Sandman is a floodgate, makes it so that you can only play one card for both players. Uh, Electro will also screw me over, so she'll only be able to play one card, but it's fine. Agatha is not smart enough to play anything else. I play a lot of big cards, so I put Dracula in here in case there's any cards in my hand that is big that is not played. Dracula can just easily take their value. It can get a little bit bad if he ends up, if I have Hobgoblin in my hand. Uh, actually, that kind of makes me want to get rid of Hobgoblin, if I'm being 100% real. Hobgoblin is a little bit hit or miss because sometimes just Agatha just has no idea how to use Hobgoblin. So I think I will replace him for here and I'll go with someone else. At least if I want to use my death, my Dracula combo. And I think I'll put in... Yeah, sure. Let's go with Maximus <laughs> for the ultimate laughs of it all. And another big beater on my end. So yeah, that's the Agatha deck. Um, there's not much strategy here. I'm putting my hands in the fate of Agatha. So let's see how she does. Um, I don't know if they've added any new animations. It's been a very long time since I went Agatha farming. So as you can see, Agatha starts here. I also specifically made it so... Um, I'll explain it a little bit more next time. Okay, so you can see here, zero playable cards. So <laughs> I pass my turn. <laughs> But that's okay, no one plays anything on turn one. Okay, we have a play here. Unfortunately, that play is called Maximus. And that's going to give my opponent two cards in their hand. Okay. She decides to completely ignore Stark Tower. Let's go. Stark Tower, of course, will give anyone... No card to destroy. Oh my god, we got so lucky there. It's okay, they get two cards in, in contrast. Ah, damn it. Oh, there goes Agatha! <laughs> Agatha! Oh no! Oh, let's go, baby. I know the law. We are now going to hit them with Sandman. They have no response. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, bucko. You're so dead. I'm gonna snap back, too. Let's go. Let's do this. We both can only play one card. I hope your card is good. I'm going to assume it's Destroyer. There's not a lot of cards that are stronger than some of the better cards in the game. Oop, nobody can move. Doctor Doom, it's fine. That's going to win him that over there, though. Oh, it doesn't win him that over there. Okay, so let's see here. I could go here, that would guarantee me a win. I think I'm going to go Blue Marvel here. Yeah, I'm gonna make it so he I'm gonna assume this guy is gonna completely ignore. Yeah, okay. Let's see. <gasps> he wins? He wins? Do you discard another one? <laughs> he wins! Damn! He got me with the hella play. I did not expect that. Totally got me. I don't see a lot of people doing Doom and Hella at the same uh, in the same go. So you can see here, Agatha just picks up the specifics of that here. Um, oh, she showed up at the end. It was Miss. I can show it here. It's fine. Agatha. So yeah, no, this card specifically, America Chavez. 
she's always drawn on turn six, but that means she won't show up any other turn. So that means it effectively lowers what you can draw next. With Agatha in your starting hand and the other girl is always going to be on the six, it helps your draw ability just a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much, but it helps. Maximus is here. You know, if I'm being 100% real, I'm pretty sure that Maximus helped them. <laughs> Ooh, there's a turn seven this game, which means I will get to play one turn. Let's go. No cards in hand. Let's go. No playable cards. Ooh. Let's see where Agatha... Yeah, that's a smart place to put him. He's a big, beefy boy, so may as well. Add a bunch of cards to hand. Mm. Mm. Yep, smart. That should, in theory, slow them down just a little bit. Spider Woman would be a good way to kind of stop Deadpool. Not stop him, but it would lower his attack by one. Which would help a little bit. Now here's the thing, what is Agatha going to do for her next move? I don't know, and I honestly don't trust her. So here's another fun thing about Venom. You can't play him in any place that has a negative zone, because he takes their power. But if they're being debuffed by the zone, he takes those debuffs. So it's not a very good idea to kind of have both of them. Ooh. Can I get it in time? Oh, damn it. I was thinking I was playing for myself. I completely forgot that Agatha actually has agency in everything I do. That's fine. Ooh, that's bad for me, actually. Can't activate Jubilee. Let's go. Where are you going to put your Agatha? Where are you going to put yourself, Agatha? Right there? That's fine. I don't think I'm going to snap back. Be 100% real with you. Go ahead. We'll see what he has to do. I assume he probably has Destroyer. Yeah. He probably can easily outbeat Agatha. Oh, it's death. That's a problem. Yeah, it's not enough. Yep. Destroy is really good. Insanely good, actually. So I lose that one pretty easily. Even though they weren't able to play anything. Funny enough, they couldn't play it on the other turn. Thank you for the free XP, Agatha. As always, appreciate What are the missions I have to complete? There we go. Well, let's see if Agatha can get one win. It's not really about if you win or lose it with Agatha, it's really more how much EXP can Agatha get for herself. And the answer is pretty good. Pretty good at this. It's actually probably better to do this at the beginning of the season, but I don't necessarily- Oh shit, what is this? World ship destroy the other locations? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, did I fight this guy already? No, I didn't. Let's go for the next turn. Oh, okay. You go, you do, you do, you girl. Oh, please don't, please don't drop Sandman. Mm hmm. That's not good either, but uh, thankfully this guy is not doing too hot compared to me either. Oh my god, Agatha, you're going to throw this. I can feel her throwing. I can feel her, the throws. I don't think I can do this. If I'm being 100% real with you, but I will end my turn and see what happens. I don't think Agatha's big beefy body- Well, actually, no, if I win based off of if the opponent uh, scoops or not. At least he'll understand why it was playing so weird. Do you have a 10 cost, my friend? If you do, I will give you this win. He does. He has a destroyer. Wasn't this the same guy? He was. That's why he automatically snapped, because he knew I was playing Agatha. 
All right. That's enough Agatha losing for now. Ooh, 22 though. That's a nice little boost up. So here's another nice thing. As you can see down here, you can see all my copies of Agatha, which is plenty. I have a lot of Agatha cards. Is that every time an Agatha gets leveled up, you just really um get a new Agatha and you start again. So the process never ends. I didn't really get a new version of Agatha, but I don't want to actually buy a variant of Agatha for a card that is basically... Um, I'm gonna lose a whole bunch, but in theory, Agatha might accidentally squeak one by. It doesn't happen very often, though. She does a lot of dumb head moves, as you saw right there. Um, she could have probably won that if she had been a little bit smarter and played Magneto. But she didn't. She played... <laughs> She played a whole bunch of- she played Sandman when it didn't make sense to play Sandman. She did a lot of dumb things. But, you know, that's the deck, basically. And that's it. Great way to farm if you don't care about your rank at all. Just kind of set that- I- that's what I did <laughs> all last season. And what I'll probably do when the new season starts. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If there's anything specific from Marvel Flash Snap that you want to see, feel free to tell me. Other than that, I will see you guys next time for whatever video I end up doing. Peace out!